Hello, I'm Stephen Stack. I'm the Commissioner for Public Health for the Commonwealth of Kentucky, as I'm sure you all know by now. This is my third weekend update as we are in the COVID-19 response. I want to thank everybody for all the good that you're doing. Uh, I want to share a little bit of levity. So you'll notice I'm not dressed in the normal professional attire with the suit and the tie, this time not even a dress shirt. I'm wearing a shirt that was made by my colleagues at the St. Joseph East Emergency Department. So I said earlier this week the analogy of don't be a honeybee, talking about people going from house to house and spreading disease, and also the buckshot metaphor, where when we all come together and then scatter, so one person with disease can spread it to many. So out of a sense of team spirit and trying to make the best out of an admittedly difficult circumstance, my colleagues made a shirt, don't be a honeybee, Dr. Stack. And so I'm sharing this now to uh, give a little bit of levity and also share uh, just how even in difficult times we can rise above and persevere. Uh, I'm also holding a stethoscope now. Um, until just a few weeks ago, I would have been in the emergency department working side by side with the physicians, the nurses, the respiratory therapists, the pharmacists, and all the others. I want to thank you all. I think there is a calm uh, right now in the emergency departments before what they fear will be a very difficult upcoming couple weeks. And I know what that feels like, and I want to thank you. It means the world to me to know that you are there to keep us all safe and to keep us well. I also want to ask the public that when you seek medical care, please be kind to these people. They are in there without adequate gear, doing the best they can under difficult circumstances. So please be kind, be patient, and be appreciative because they are literally putting themselves on the line to help keep you and your loved ones safe. Look, I know fatigue sets in. We've been doing this now for at least a couple of weeks. Actually, we started on March 6th. I know it gets hard and we look outside and the weather's beautiful and the trees are blooming. It's a time of renewal. And yet we're telling you, you need to hunker down because crunch time is here. The next two to three weeks are pivotal. If you need any evidence of that, you now only need look at the news coming out of New York and even out of some of our Southern states. I'm confident and I'm hopeful that the things we have done, that the governor has done so proactively here in Kentucky are going to help keep the greatest number of Kentuckians safe and help minimize as much as we can the impact of this disease on our communities. So as we enter this third week, I ask you, inspire people to do the right thing. Let's not worry about having to force people and guilt people. Inspire people to do the right thing. Look out for each other. Be kind. Love your neighbor. If we pull together, we're going to overcome this. We don't get to pick what history deals us. We only get to pick how we choose to respond. If we respond as a community, as a group of people who come together and look out for each other, I have every confidence that Kentucky is going to do well. And if you've got a little competitive streak in you, that we're going to do better than a whole lot of others. Thank you very much for all you're doing. Thank you to Governor Bashir for the strong leadership that's made our coordinated and consistent response possible. And please continue to go to kycovid19.ky.gov on a daily basis for regular updates and your most reliable source of information in the state of Kentucky. Thank you, be good, and stay well. And until next time, this is Steve Stack signing out.